oil is one of the world's most precious commodities. So when working on an oil mine, time is money. The only way to get the biggest bang for your buck is to load as much material at a time as possible. The answer? The Caterpillar 797B, the world's largest dump truck. And when you're mining the world's largest oil deposit here at the Albion Sands Mine in Alberta, Canada, you better believe that these heavy haulers are working overtime and helping to produce over 155,000 barrels of oil every day. These massive trucks are engineered for performance, designed for comfort, and built to haul over 380 tons of earth in a single load. Now, because these trucks are too big to transport on the highway, each one was shipped in parts and assembled on location, weighing in at 1,375,000 pounds and costing five and a half million dollars. These are the biggest trucks in the world. I wanted to get the scoop on exactly how these big cat trucks operate. And I was told that Ed Falk, the on-site cat representative, was the guy who could give us an up-close look. The most massive thing on here is the tires. They're about uh, 13 feet tall. Um, and typically, these last anywhere from about 5,000 to 7,000 hours. This thing is huge. Look at the size of this rim and this wheel well. It just opens up. Look at these lug nuts. These are like the size of half of my fist. Each one of these tires cost over $60,000, and they strategically place four in the back to compensate for the weight of its extra large load capacity. Look how big these mud flaps are. Well, you can see right here, this is a fuel tank. This fuel tank here uh, holds 1,000 gallons of fuel. How many miles per gallon does this thing get? Well, they don't really rate them on miles per gallon. Typically, what they watch is, uh, you know, fuel burn, which is the amount of fuel that they burn in an hour. So give me an average. Uh, say, you know, you, you could see a truck like this get into the 60 gallons per hour range. 60 gallons per hour. 60 gallons per hour. So basically a gallon a minute. Yep. Unbelievably, this engine is bigger than an average car. The radiator holds over 300 gallons of coolant and has an eight-foot fan to keep it cool. The muscle behind this giant truck is a 24-cylinder quad-turbo diesel engine that produces over 3,500 horsepower. Because a lot of the stuff in this machine is like similar to my normal car, except times 20. Exactly. This is the largest mechanical drive truck ever built. It's just like your car. It's got a transmission. It's got seven forward speeds. It's got reverse. You know, it shifts gears just like your car does. Except I wouldn't think it would be street legal. <laughs> well, it depends on how wide your street is. The body sticks out past the rear tires, and that's so when we dump the load, the material is, goes away from the machine. Uh, and we can dump it safely over a berm or that sort of uh, situation. So when, the, when you dump this, how tall can the whole bed stand up? The top of the bed or the, to the tip of the canopy when it's in the upright position is about 50 feet. <whistles> this thing's like getting in the upstairs bedroom of your house and driving it down the street. I'll say. All right, we all know the importance of upkeep on our personal vehicles. And as my mom used to say, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Well, in this case, an ounce of prevention is worth millions in barrels of oil. Let's go see what it takes to maintain and repair these big boys and keep them producing. Every 500 hours, the trucks are taken off the production line for routine maintenance procedures. This ensures reliability as well as a long lifespan. The first stop is a giant car wash that's crucial in keeping the moving parts of these big trucks free from debris. This is Dean, the bay wash attendant. Yep. What do we got here? Why, why is it so important to wash these trucks? Uh, it's got to be clean so the mechanics can work on them and make sure everything's clean so stuff doesn't get in whatever you're taking apart so everything's nice and clean they don't contaminate anything. So you don't get contaminated? Yeah, sand and all the pumps and whatever they take apart, hoses and stuff. So. And how long does it take you to actually wash the car or wash the, the truck? The truck, uh, about 12 hours. 12 hours? Yeah, all day. <laughs> really? Uh -huh. And how long do you work? 12 hours a day. <laughs> 